Uh, this looks so much sharper now. Got my camera back and a new lens. What's going on everyone, Matash here and today we're going to be talking about the Google Home shopping list and the fact that it's finally fixed. Guys, Google Home shopping lists have been broken for the longest time because the only way to access the shopping list was to go to the Google Home app, click on the shopping list, and then it would take you to a web page to go see your shopping list and it just wasn't a good experience for anyone out there. At least it was not personally for me. Previously, they used to do it with Google Keep where anytime you added something to your shopping list, it would actually create a new note inside of Google Keep and then you can have access to it there. And since I use Google Keep as my personal thing, it was kind of really annoying to me that they changed over from that. But finally, they brought back Google Keep integration, but not only have they brought back Google Keep integration, they've actually integrated with a whole bunch of other apps. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the integration between your Google Home and any of those apps. So you guys can just ask Google to add something to your shopping list and it will just automatically show up in that list. It's a really nice feature to have, especially when you're in the kitchen. But you know what, without further ado, let's just get into this. All right, so of course, what you're gonna need for this is your smartphone with the Google Home app installed. So we're gonna go over to our Google Home app because that's how you do everything on Google Home. And then you're gonna go into settings. Once again, like we do everything at the top, you can see that settings thing. But now you're gonna scroll down and then here you can see under Google Assistant service, you see the shopping list thing. That's not what you're gonna to wanna to click, but that is previously what you had to click to go to that web page to see your shopping list. Like I said, it was not a good experience. Like who's gonna to remember to go to this web page to see your shopping list when you're shopping? It just was not a good experience. But now you can click on the more settings and here it'll take you to more of your settings and then go over to services. And here you can see there's a new option called notes and lists. So if you click into that, that is where you can turn on integration for things like Google Keep, AnyDo, AnyList, and Bring Shopping List. I don't use most of these apps. I've used AnyDo before. It's a pretty good to-do list app, but Google Keep is my note-taking app of choice where I keep all my notes for things like shopping list and I have a shared shopping list with my wife so that's where I keep it so here I have it set up now and as soon as you click that button it's turned on and it's all you really have to do so after this Google Assistant when you tell it to add something to your shopping list it will go ahead and add it to your Google keep shopping list so if you've already got one there like I do it's gonna show up in there so let me go ahead and try this out and show you guys how it works add jalapenos to the shopping list And then there you go, it added them. And then we'll just go over to Google Keep. And you can see it just populated with jalapenos at the top. Now let's, in case you guys don't believe me, let's go ahead and try something else. Uh, let's add cookies. Add cookies to the shopping list. And it's added it. And then when I go over, you can see it populates cookies right at the top of that. And the nice thing about Google Keep List is you can share it with your family. So at the bottom I have my wife's and I'm sharing my list with her. So. If we ever think of anything, if we have the refrigerator open and we just see that we need milk or something, open the refrigerator, see if we need milk, say, oh, and then add milk to the shopping list and that's it. And so there you guys have it. That's how you make shopping lists way more useful with Google Home. They're finally to the point where I'm gonna use them again. And yeah, it's just a nice little thing that makes your life a little bit more convenient. So if you're someone who's been using Google Home for a while and been missing a shopping list functionality, you have it back now. So there you guys have it. That's pretty much it for this video. Like this one if you liked it, subscribe if you guys loved it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. I need your permission to allow personal. Shh. And so, yeah, there you guys have it. That's how you turn it on. That's how. Uh, blah, 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 blah.